Today is Thursday, July 9th, around noon. And we're beginning the process by lifting up on the edge of the culvert to make room for the tool. You can see it, the culvert is completely obstructed. The cruise missile only requires a bucket and log chain to function. The time is 12.14. We've unloaded the cruise missile and it's all chained up and ready to go. We're here on Highway 201 South, safely out of the roadbed. We've moved to the upstream side of the culvert where brush has grown in front of it and blocked all of the debris that goes into the culvert, resulting in large pools of water during heavy rainfall. We've managed to clear the culvert of its blockages within three minutes. Just up the road from the culvert that we just cleared, we have one that is completely obstructed and caved in. And you can see that in areas, in times of heavy rainfall, the road and the ditch is completely overflowed with water. Somehow the upstream side of the culvert is even worse. As you can see, the opening is not even visible. The time is 12.38 and we are attempting to locate the entrance of the culvert here. The entrance to the culvert is in sight and approximately four inches is visible and the rest is packed with sediment. Within six minutes of actually locating the entrance to the culvert, it has been completely cleared out. We've now moved on to the second culvert. The time is 1247 and the operator is attempting to lift the crushed culvert entrance.
time is one o'clock. An extension is needed to clear the rest of the debris. But as you can see, all of the sediment has been cleared from the culvert. We're unchaining the cruise missile from the bucket to utilize the extending butt plate that is featured in the in rear end of the pool. Time is now 1.23. Culvert has been cleared all the way through. Time is now 1.33. We're using the bucket to clear the entrance of the culvert of all the sediment that we removed from the inside. We're continuing the clearing process on a lower segment of the culvert. Thank <laughs> you. 